Welcome back to uh, Stratified and welcome back to our shop. So what we have here is, uh, is two turbochargers that are obviously apart on the bench. Uh, what you're looking at on, in this corner is the OEM IS38 Turbo out of our development Golf R. And what you've got here is the Garrett PMAX Stage 1 Turbo that we're about to put in our Golf R. So I want to take these apart and, uh, and show you guys and, and take some measurements and show you guys the differences between these two, two turbos. So let's get started. Let's start with the compressor housings. So on this side, you have the OEM IS38 compressor housing. And on this side, you have the PMAX Stage 1 compressor housing. So immediately on the back of the housing, uh, you're going to see that you have this Kevlar insert that that the compressor wheel snags on the IS-38 when you get too much shaft play. And uh, and obviously this is a, a fully machined piece here on the Garrett Turbo. I should point out that the Garrett does have a fully cast and machined unique to them uh, housing for this turbo. This is the case on the compressor as well as on the, uh, the exhaust housings. So a few more interesting aspects. Uh, this is uh, came out of a 2016 car, so an early Golf R, and this is, you know, a lot of people are, are familiar with this uh, actuator on the Golf R. Garrett has does include a, an actuator that's already calibrated uh, on the turbo, and uh, this is what looks like closer to an IS-20 uh, actuator and, uh, and or revised version, so they do look different between the cars, but obviously it plugs right into the oem harness since these turbos are um are fully interchangeable as far as installing it into the car um, on the is38 again this is a turbo muffler and then the inlet um is, is something that you guys are familiar with and then there's the bypass valve port the same thing exists on the Garrett PMAX. The inlet has this two bolt flange that they actually include so you don't need to have uh, any sort of additional inlets that we we upgrade It's a common upgrade piece on the is 30 and is 20 and then they get rid of the whole muffler system and they just have uh, this piece here which which is um, you can put the oem hose clamp uh, right on there the bypass valves are identical between the two again the IS, uh, uh, sorry, the Garrett PMAX comes with all this stuff included uh, on the turbocharger. So it's direct plug and play. A unique feature on the uh, Garrett PMAX turbo is what you see here, and that is uh, the turbo speed sensor. So what this does is it, it picks up the blades as they rotate past the sensor and it gives you a, a turbo speed if you have their optional sensor kit and gauge. Now here's uh, just basically the, the sensor itself and this connects to a gauge that we're going to have in the car and monitor this because Garrett actually specifies that the maximum speed for their turbo is 185,000 uh, RPM. So we're going to be monitoring this through the gauge as we tune the car to make sure that we don't exceed it uh, because that otherwise they, they say that the turbo could be damaged. So it's going to be something that you want to keep an eye on. You want to make sure that the tune is set up correctly because uh, for example, at sea level, achieving 25 PSI at something like 6,000 RPM is going to require a lot less turbo speed than it will if you were at something like 5,000 feet up in the mountains. So that's something to account for when uh, tuning the, uh, the PMAX turbo and really any turbo. Moving on to the exhaust housing of these turbos. So this here is the IS-38. Oh, yeah, exhaust housing, and this here is the PMAX exhaust housing. You can see that Garrett does their own casting, and this is unique to this turbocharger. Uh, it is a 0.64 AR on this turbo. The exhaust ports are very similar. They're, they're actually identical in size. It is, of course, maintained, has maintained the twin scroll design that, uh, that is also shared with the IS-38. The wastegates function very much the same. I expect to have good boost control uh, with this turbo. And overall, the, the inside of this housing, um, the volume inside here is larger on the PMAX turbo than it is uh, on the IS-38 turbo. And now on to the center housings of the two turbochargers. So on this side, we have the IS-38. And on this side, we have the PMAX. 
So let's just go through these and, and get some rough measurements. Uh, first of all, they are both uh, journal bearing turbos. So Garrett has has kept the price down on the stage one by keeping a journal bearing just like the IS-38. Uh, and they have gone to a ball bearing on their, their larger, the stage two. So if we were to have a look at the exhaust wheel and compare the two. So a couple of a couple of measurements here that are just you know some some very quick measurements. So the the exducer on the exhaust wheel of the IS thirty eight we're looking at about forty six millimeters, and here on the Pmax we're looking at about forty four millimeters, and at the inducer on the Pmax is about forty nine millimeters, and then the inducer on the OEM turbo is about 52. So what you notice here is that actually it looks like the IS-38 has a slightly larger turbine wheel, but you can't strictly look at that because there are a lot of aspects to the design of it. So first of all, notice that the angle of the blades is much sharper than it is on this. So this has a, a less of a curvature here to the blade, which means that the exhaust can more easily flow out compared to the OEM IS-38. And that should promote more, more flow on this, um, on this Pmax turbine. Also, the height of the two turbines is different with this one actually being a taller turbine wheel than what we have on the IS-38. So again, you're going to notice the, the blade angle here and then the height of the turbine wheel. Moving on to the compressor. So, just turn these around. So, on the compressor side, this is a six by six um, compressor wheel. And this is. Thanks, Siri. And then this is actually a, an eight blade compressor wheel. And they're both billet and since we're talking about numbers one other thing that i forgot to mention is that uh, this is an eight blade uh, turbine wheel and this is actually a nine blade uh, turbine wheel on the pmax but going back to the compressor so um six by uh, six by six design and what that means is that you can see that on the is38 you've got six of the blades that extend all the way out and then six shorter ones and it is a billet wheel on the Pmax Turbo, you can see that all eight blades, they extend all the way to, to the very end. And the compressor wheel is indeed a larger one. So getting the calipers out, the IS-38 exducer, you're looking at about 50, almost 57 millimeter. And the inducer is hard to measure is what it is. We're looking at about 44.6 millimeters. And on the Pmax turbo, we have actually almost 62 millimeters on the exducer of the compressor and uh, 47 and a half on the inducer. So once again, you can't just compare straight size to size because there are design elements to these two two wheels that will make them perform differently. And <clears throat> excuse me, Garrett does spec that their turbocharger flows or their compressor specifically flows 17% more above above this guy. So if comfortably you can get with high octane fuel somewhere around 380, let's say let's say pushing at 400 wheel horsepower on an IS38, then 17 uh, above that you should expect that you're going to be looking at about maybe 60 extra horsepower that you can achieve out of this turbo. And we're gonna find all that out once we uh, get it on the car, which is right there, and uh, and do, uh, do our tuning magic. Uh, one other point to note is that, like I said, the Garrett kit comes very, very complete and uh, all, all the, the, the gaskets and, and uh, O-rings and so on, that will allow you to install this in your GTI or Golf R uh, is, is all included with the turbocharger. 
So we have this turbocharger on our website. If you want to check it out and, and purchase it with our custom tuning. And uh, otherwise, stay tuned as we are going to get this turbo back in the car and we're going to tune it and show you guys exactly the results that we're going to achieve. So until then, talk to you later.